We are live. Welcome to Wednesday night to the live show. Thanks so much for being here. Tonight we're going to kitchen design important. And I don't mean intrinsically important, but is it important to you? Is it important in the design of your overall house plan? Maybe you're building a home or thinking about building a home or you're going to purchase a new home and you're looking through the real estate listings and you're trying to figure out what's the best home for you. Or maybe you just want to upgrade and renovate your current kitchen. Is the ki is the kitchen design important? So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. We're going to look at a bunch of floor plans, house plans, basically, done up in SketchUp. Not by me. I wish I could be that talented. But these uh, floor plans from SketchUp. And what we're going to do is decipher whether or not we think the kitchen design suits the home, suits the house, or it, could there be something better suited uh, for that particular house plan? My number one rule when it comes to kitchen design, especially when it's down to building a new home or new construction, new builds, is that you design and plan out your kitchen at the very start, very first, before actually you even have the house plan and the layout of the particular house that you want to build finalized that you nail down the actual layout and design of the kitchen. That way you will know that you have the most functional kitchen for your needs that you can then take that and put it into the house plan, you know, of your dreams or whatever you're building, hopefully not your nightmare. This is something that rarely, rarely happens and something I come across a lot of in with working with clients and designing kitchens is that this is the floor plan that I'm stuck with and we have to make a kitchen work for that. And that's not always the best way to do it. There's a better way to do it if you can learn to do it sooner and end up with the kitchen that works for you and your family because everybody's needs are different and every home is different and the layouts of all houses pretty much can be different and are different. So we're going to look at that tonight. I'm going to jump into the chat for a second. We'll make some announcements and then we'll get into the, the content. Thanks so much for joining me uh, tonight. Wherever you're from, please say hi in the chat, of course, because um, we just totally, uh, we, we as if there's a team here. It's just me. I uh, I love to hear where you're from. I love to see that you're coming on saying hello. Now, I will say this, uh, uh, Jackie, if you're on, I already made you a moderator. So um, I don't know if you're on tonight, but if you do come on, let us know in the chat because I made you a moderator in case we get some spammers that show up. They show up everywhere. And I'm, I'm just like, you know, when a spammer shows up on my live stream, uh, I think, you know, Wow, like I really, I really made it. You know, I'm finally, I finally made it to the top because <laughs> spammers are here. So Jackie, listen, if you're here, let me know. Or uh, hopefully you'll just let me know when you come on because uh, I made you the moderator. So, which basically means you can, you can boot people out and you can delete comments and all that other stuff. So I see a lot of people coming on, uh, familiar faces. And if you are brand new to the live uh, Wednesday night chat, uh, please say hi. Love, love that you're here. And of course, many of you watch on a device where you can't uh, use your thumbs or your fingers. Um, and so all you have to do is wave at the screen and I'll know, I'll know it's you. I'll be able to somehow know or feel it. <laughs> cool. I think we're down. I don't know. I don't see Jackie yet, but it's all good. We got Manchester. Oh, wow. We got Atlanta. Cool. Austin, Texas, Indianapolis, Tennessee, I know we got New Brunswick, yeah, Walnut Creek, sunny Walnut Creek. And that, that's I like the sound of that. Venice, Florida. Hello, everyone. Vermont. Oh, it's so cool that you're all here. Of course, I'm in Nova Scotia. Hmm, there you go. We're all from somewhere. And uh, I see someone said that it was a little bit cooler. Maybe it was you, Sarah. Um, yeah, a little cooler. It's a little cooler here this week, too. It's been raining, which is really good. And, you know, but I love the hot weather because it only comes a little bit in for us here. You know, it's only only get a few months and then it's cold <laughs> again. Not super cold, but we get we get nice weather. It's a great place to visit. One of the most beautiful islands on the world is where I live. And, um, you know, you got to you got to come see. Excuse me. What am I drinking tonight? LaCroix, I guess that's what I'm drinking. Raspberry. Uh let me know what you're drinking. Hopefully it's just tea or coffee or, or sparkling water. Very cool. Rose, my cat volunteers to eat any spam and the spammers leave. Oh, I love it. Let's jump into the uh, the content tonight. Oh, I want to mention this as well. I want to mention that I'm 
I'm live streaming to Facebook and uh, I, I don't know why I just decided to. So if you're watching this on Facebook, hi, this is the first time I've ever live streamed to Facebook. I have no idea what this is going to look like and I don't know how this stream comes across, but I'm going to try to, to bring it up. I don't even, I'm not actually even sure how to view it on Facebook. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to like find it on Facebook. Um, so if any of you know how to do that, where I would find my live stream. But right now it's streaming live to Facebook, MT Kitchen Design, if you want to go try and find that, uh, be my guest and maybe you can school me. I'm, I'm just not into the Facebook. So, hey, Helen's here. Hi, Helen. From East Gippsland, I've seen the brochures. I've seen the the, the place I want to visit in East Gippsland, Australia, Australia. And of course it is Thursday morning for you. So thanks so much um, for being here. Love having you. All right. I don't see Jackie yet, but whenever she comes on, she's the moderator. All right. Cool. I got some other news I'm going to talk to you about a little bit later. Let me write it down here so that I don't forget. Something we talked about last week. Oh, what? If you were here last week, you know. If you don't, well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Let's jump into this tonight because I want to show you. Oh, I got to bring it up here. <laughs> I had some camera problems. Oh, here we go. This is what we're going to jump into in a minute. I, oh, my goodness. Okay. There we go. I had some camera issues beforehand, so I just barely made the the live stream with all these uh, camera issues I had. Jackie, you're here. Awesome. You are the moderator. Uh, I made you a moderator in my uh, in my settings, so you can you can uh, keep keep a uh, keep tabs on the action. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what being a moderator means other than um, you can you can do things like kick people out and all that kind of stuff. So, all right. I have a, do have a poll going on, which is, uh, would you design your own kitchen? Would you be willing and able to just do that um, for yourself if you like that kind of thing? Many people like to design their own kitchens. And I've come across lots of clients over the years who have uh, brought me their own designs and basically just used me to give them like a 3d layout. And that's, uh, that's always been cool. And then there's some people that are like, listen, I don't want to touch this with a 10 foot pole. Just you do it. You, you do the thing. Uh, so would you rather work with a pro um, or work with yourself, which could be just as good actually. So it depends on the pro, I guess uh, what you're, who, who you're going to deal with. All right, cool. Jackie's into it. She's going to figure out how it works. And, uh, oh, and check out Jackie's latest video um, on the bathroom organization uh, thing that she did. It's really good. So check that out for sure. And give it a thumbs up, please. And thank you. If you can do that, that would be awesome. And um, if any anybody else out here are are, are YouTubers of any, of any sort, let, let me know. I'd love to... Uh, support one another. So this is the first kitchen that we're the first house plan we're looking at. And the reason I'm doing this is because I said that I, I come across a lot of clients who, who come with, come to me with their floor plans and they, they, you know, I, I'm designing a kitchen for that particular plan. But what happens is the, the floor plan, and this isn't to say that draftsmen aren't good at what they do. Like they just draw up a floor plan and kind of, there's a placeholder for where a kitchen is, but not a lot of thought goes into that other than there's a kitchen and the, the actual homeowner, because, you know, you can go and buy house plans online. So the actual homeowner is faced with having to put a kitchen into that, that house plan, which could work out okay or, or it could work out poorly, but I've seen it work out poorly. And that's why I want to bring it up and we'll talk about it today. So this is, this, these are some floor plans done in SketchUp. And I, I love these because you can kind of get a, a good sense of what the home looks like. So we have our, our beautiful outline here of our house, our floor plan, what we're going to build. And we can see our kitchen there. And I'm going to bring up a little closer and talk about this particular uh, kitchen layout. So have a look at it for a second as I talk through it. And we'll talk about the good points and bad points. And to be honest with you, I didn't go through all of these at all. I like to do this on the fly a little bit for the live streams. I just think it makes it a little more, I don't know. It's just the way I like to do things. So I, I didn't really look at these at all other than to load them in here. And, and, and that's about it. So um, some of what I say will be maybe just first time I'm kind of looking at it. So we can see this U shape design in this particular plan. And uh, it's not like overly bad or anything. It, it works. It is what it is. 
So we have a dishwasher, sink, room for a double sink, whatever. You know, corner cabinets, we can see the range that's kind of in the center. And I don't, I don't know if you can see my mouse, you probably can't. But there's a range in the center and another corner side-by-side -side fridge. It looks like a 36-inch fridge. And what, here's what I'd say about this particular layout, if I may. Let me just, oh, let me not do that. Let's do this. There we go. Um, unless I need to make that a little bigger, just let me know. This is what I would say. Uh, no, let's make it bigger so we can see it. Um, where the where that the, the table is, the dining room table on this floor plan, I would move that to the right. I'd move that to the right over closer to the door and the in the window, just a little bit. And I would I would possibly uh, take out that return wall that the fridge is on and put the, the fridge and the range on that that one wall. And then I'd put in a nice island in that space. Um, that's, that's where my mind goes. I put in a really nice Island and then also have the table though. This like works. I'm not a fan of, of corners, obviously, and everyone knows that, but I'm also, I, I don't like having a fridge too close to a corner. If you can help it, if you can help having a fridge a little further away from a corner, it, it just, cause the fridge is a deep cabinet and then the wall cabinets, you know, obviously go in and, and there's this kind of crevice this dark area that can be be challenging this one isn't too bad you probably have <clears throat> four feet of space there but i still would cut that right out of there and just put in put in an island you'd have the space for it no problem it'd be a little more functional a little more open because i like open concepts still all right that's still okay it's still a thing and um yeah i, I would do it that way so that is one great way that you can do it is to to do that. But this isn't too bad of a floor plan. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. So if this is what you had. And you're like, well, this isn't exactly what I want, but I have to fit a kitchen in there. If you didn't design the kitchen beforehand, then you have to make do with what this is. And I don't like that. I like to, I want you to have the best kitchen possible and the only way to do that, that is to design the best kitchen possible and then put that into whatever floor plan that you uh, want for, for a home. And that's totally doable. And that's that's the way I should go. That's the way it should go. Let's look at the poll for a minute here. So would you like to design your own kitchen? And 71% of you are saying, yeah, you can totally handle it. And no, let the pros handle it, 29%. So that's awesome. I hope that um, by watching my content, you feel like you're able to do it. You probably were able to do it before you ever seen me, <laughs> but you know, I like to think that. So <laughs> it's just good for my ego. Alan used the Ikea kitchen planner, which is a great tool. So very good. Um, okay. Let's keep, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Let me just, I got to do this first. There we go. Oh, Jackie's in there with <laughs> Jackie's moderating. All right. I love it. Thanks, Jackie. Very cool. All right, here, let's go to the next one. So here's the uh, kitchen floor plan. This is what I used in the thumbnail of the video. And um, so this is something that you'd normally see, you know, if you're looking at, at a house plan, um, all the doodads in there. I, I, I particularly like this one. I did, I did, look at this one for a minute because it has a has a maid's quarter now i want to go back to the overall plan of this house and want you to look at it for a minute uh, this is a smaller space it's not it's a three bedroom bungalow type of home and and that's okay but like do you do you really need a do you need a maid <laughs> what do you need a maid for i know i know no wouldn't it be nice to have someone to clean your home for you is one thing that amy always says is that uh She'd love to have someone come in and clean the house. I think she just means like I should probably do it. Uh, I never really caught on to that. But I, maybe in our next home, I will put in a maid's quarter. And that's the, I'll probably just end up sleeping in there <laughs> from time to time. Uh, I'm just kidding. Maid's quarter and all. But anyway, aside from that, the maid doesn't get very much room, which is kind of not nice. Give her one of those spare bedrooms. Look, you got lots of room there. Put your kid in that little room. They'd love it. All right, here we go. <laughs> this kitchen is, uh, you know, pretty basic, just your, your run-of-the-mill standard little kitchen. I guess the only thing I would say in this particular space is to to move that fridge, maybe put a, 
I, I don't know what these cabinets are and nobody does because they're just rectangles on a, on a page. But my idea would be have a, you know, have a nice little pantry, maybe just a single door, 18 unit or 18 inch or 21 inch. doesn't have to be massive, have the fridge, then have some counter space. Um, you know, and the rest is fine. I don't, I don't see a problem with it. You can try moving the, the stove and you can try moving the sink around to see what works. And this is where um, having a designer drop those different ideas, um, you know, is, is helpful because you can, you can see how everything looks. So, yeah. So get yourself a maid and you'll be all set. So again, if you're, if you're, you know, you're interested in this particular house plan, you like it, but you don't like that kitchen, but this is what you're getting. This is what you're building. And then now you have to come to the designer or yourself and design something to fit in that. You're like, well, this isn't, this isn't, this is going to work for me. And I know it sounds almost counterintuitive. Like why would I put a kitchen into a place that doesn't suit or doesn't work? But um, it happens a lot. You just don't, you don't realize that, you know, here's the house plan. And then you get into the weeds of it all. And all of a sudden you, you know, you, you, you have to deal with the space that you have. And uh, it happens, it happens so much. So um, you could uh, maybe put the maid. Do you know? Yeah. Well, see, that's a good point. See? Um, so, Hey, listen, listen I'm not going to get a maid. Okay. But honey, what we, what we can do is we can use all of this space, even this extra maid's bathroom, we can put in a really nice big kitchen. So that's kind of the thing that, that I would think about with, with this space. Let's go to the next one. Here's a nice, pretty one. I love these. Uh, these are done like, like a SketchUp or something like that. I should really learn how to use these because uh, I like it. All right, here we go. Um, kitchen. Sometimes I have to look at these and figure out where the kitchen is. <laughs> I found it. It's on the bottom. So this must be like a, I don't know what's why there isn't a window in the back. There should be a window in the back there, but let's just pop up a little closer. L-shaped kitchen. Again, the return wall uh, to the left of the sink, I think could go i don't i really don't think it needs to be there you could because okay look at the hallway and you have the nice pictures on there um but you could get rid of that altogether you could skirt that table over yeah you could carol says it needs an island it, you could easily put an island in this space there's lots of room there for an, an island it doesn't have to be massive but it can be something um something usable so that return wall can go there's no need for that to be there and other than that, like the design is, is okay. Like it's fine. It's an L shape. What else are you going to do? You got to put a fridge, a stove and a sink and a dishwasher. So, you know, this is probably only 12 by 12 ish. So by the time you get all in there, you don't have a whole lot of room left. So you have nice, lots of landing area. Um, away you go. You could pr probably could have put a small pantry onto the right of that fridge. Maybe that would work out and get rid of those 45 degree corner wall cabinets. Would you just get rid of those? Stop. Stop with those. Just either block them off or go with go with a 90 degree corner. They look much better, much more modern. So anyway, that's a little rant. Sorry. Table is is off altogether. And I think we can I think we could fix this one up. So this wouldn't be too bad to make a little bit better. This would be this would be fairly simple to to do. In fact, you could get rid of that table altogether, put in a big island with seating incorporated into it, and you know, it might it might be a little bit better. I'm sorry, Carol. I don't mean to offend anyone. <laughs> All right, let's do the... No, let's just go to the... Um, no, Winston, I don't think that wall's structural. You'd, you'd, build, you'd build this so you'd, you'd, just have, you'd have trusses. That wall wouldn't be structural. I don't think so. If this was a home, that would be on trusses. It'd be, none of those walls would be structural, so... I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think so. And besides, if, if it was, just put a beam in across that whole thing from the washer dryer closet to the end of that uh, that run of cabinets, I think would be fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't worry about structure. What's the difference if it all falls in on you? So um, let's keep on a going here with some of these. Um, 
It could be a condo. If that's the case, that wall could definitely be moved. I don't see it being a problem. Needs an island, yeah. Oh, Winston doesn't like IKEA. Like the store or the quality or the cabinets? What is it about it? <sighs> that maid's quarter could be for anyone. Yeah, slap a beam in there. We're all good. Okay, let's go to the next one, everyone. Oh, I like your new avatar, Rose. Looks cool. Oh, I'm just all over the place. Anybody figure out the Facebook thing yet? I'm streaming there live. If you're watching on Facebook, hi. <laughs> Don't know how to find you. Anyway, it's all good. What's this thing do up here? I am live. Oh, there you go. View, view on Facebook. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to view this on Facebook. Cool. I don't know if anyone's watching. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep on going. I don't do Facebook. I, I apparently don't do Facebook either, uh, uh, Carol. <laughs> Not very well, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to do a little bit more on some of the social medias because... Um, uh, just because I guess I want to. Hey, Rob, who's watching? Is is Raina there or HUD? Uh, if they are, hi. All right, let's keep going. So that's that one. I think we solved the, the problem with that one. Next, another one. I know some of these look cluttered, but uh, you got to find the kitchen. It's on the bottom again, another L shape. Similar to the last one, but they use the whole space, which I like. So there's no doorway there. And I'll zoom in a little bit here. So sorry if this is a little bit blurry, but you know, I had to had to rip these off the internet. So okay, so here we go. Um, as is, the first thing I would say is there's zero need to have that that closet there. We can get rid of that altogether. Um, we don't need a closet there at all. And I would probably. I would probably move the sink to that wall and um, and put the range where the sink is. Get rid of that pantry closet thing altogether and put a, a pantry on the wall by the fridge to, to open up that space a little bit. Maybe put the range in then on that wall, create a nice little bit of room there. But there's no need to have like a closet, two by four, gyp rock closet as a pantry. That could, that could go and it could just be cabinetry, which would make, it would tie into the, to the room a whole bunch more. Um, so that's, that's my thought on that. <sighs> that reminds me I, when I played the game The Sims. I had never played it, but it, I remember Sim City back in 2000. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm saying there on this one. I don't, uh, and, and I think the island is nice. It's it's the right size for that kitchen, um, but I think if you got rid of that that pantry closet thing, it would it would open up a little bit better. What do you think? I guess we're talking about The Sims. I never played The Sims, just that Sim City game. That's the size of your pantry. Well, that's okay. I mean, it's good to have some kind of space. I just think if you're planning this as a house in a house design, I think the best idea is to get rid of that and put in just either countertop, make it a, a pantry cabinet. There's lots more you could do there. Um, that's that's my uh, that's my thing. I'm just I'm checking out. Uh, oh, oh, hey, I'm over on Facebook here for a second. <laughs> I'm going to comment. Barbara's on Facebook. Hey, Barbara. I'm going to say hi on this here. Oh, that's not what I want to do. What's going on? There we go. All right, cool. Well, we got somebody on Facebook. Awesome. Um, <laughs> cool beans, cool beans. Jackie says, all right, hit the like button, but also hit the like button on Jackie's new video. Go over and watch it on uh, 
uh, on um, under cabinet storage for your bathroom, but you can also do the same type of thing in a kitchen. Um, check it out. She does a great job. And uh, you can, I like seeing the before and after, so you can really picture that, but it's easy, easy to do stuff like that. And Jackie shows you that it is very easy to do, you know, a few screws, uh, very simple, um, you know, accessory you can get online. You can probably get similar things at, at Home Depot. I did a similar thing underneath my sink cabinet and it's very much more functional. So good to go. Here we go. Here's the next one. Not too much I'd say about this one. Here we go. This is, looks like a, an apartment, maybe a lot of, a lot of walls when you look at it like this. All right. Again, a lot of these um, these units, these these kitchen designs have this closet built in. So I'm just gonna like again say get rid of that closet because it just it eats up a lot of space that's not not necessary. You can get just as much storage from a pantry unit than you can out of that closet. I guarantee you can get just as much storage. Um, so that being said, here's what I would consider for this kitchen. I would I wouldn't, I don't like that island, that peninsula, the way it is. I, I would completely flip this around so that the L shape is on the long wall and then the wall on the back, get rid of that pantry. Okay. Make that your kitchen. And then that mechanical room's got to move. We got to get rid of that mechanical room. Tell your contractor it's got to go. We got to move it. It can't be there. It's that's, that's put it somewhere else. Even if you have to move the doorway and put it over on that other side where the laundry is, that's where it should go anyway. That's where you're, just put it over there. Get that stuff all together. And then get rid of that wall completely. Get rid of that wall completely. Put a real nice monster island in there. And bam, you got yourself a beautiful kitchen. Just like that. All you had to do is come ask me. But no, you didn't. You went and you built this. And now, I don't know. You're not, It's just that corner sink thing. And it could be so much better. <laughs> so that's that's what I'm telling you to do. Flip that thing around completely, and I, I, I guarantee you, you, you'll have a much better, much better kitchen. Now, is there anything wrong with this? No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine if that's what you want. You have seating on that uh, peninsula, which is in the hallway. So you're going to be sitting in the hallway, which is not going to be conducive to seating, but it's there. You have a lot of dead space because each of those uh, corners, those 40, 22 and a half degree angles to make that 45 degree turn. You're eating up about 18 inches at the back of overall space on both of those. There's a lot of, I know it's a triangle, but you're wasting a lot of space by doing that. You got this cramped up corner down there where the fridge is. It just could be way better. So you come to me with this design and I'm going to say, Hey, let's, let's talk to the contractor. Let's get a few things figured out. Let's make this a little bit better. Here we go. Close up view is where I should have been. Check that mechanical remote. Get rid of that. Get, get, get. In fact, if you got rid of that, think about it. Look how open that would be. How beautiful it would be. You've had a beautiful, big island, L-shaped kitchen. I'm telling you, this is what we want to do. I got a thumbs up on Facebook, which is amazing. Thanks for doing that. I, I'm going to go over to Facebook here in a minute. Let's see. Here we are. I don't know what's going on over there, but I see a, a rising thumb. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing that. That's kind of fun. Listen, if you're watching this in replay and you hear me ranting and, and you don't like that, this is just a live stream. It's just for, it's not just for us, but here we are. And um, if you like shorter content, be sure to uh, to go do that and watch my shorter videos. Let's chat, chat about my shorter videos. You know, last week we talked about um, interior design. And that was interesting. And a lot of you said, hey, go for it. Why don't you try a, a little bit of interior design content? And um, and I did. And it was the worst performing video in the history of my channel. <laughs> the worst performing video in the history of my channel. Wow. <laughs> Live and learn. However, however... I did, I did reach out to Nick Lewis. And Nick Lewis is awesome because uh, he's uh, he's super um, willing to do an interview with me and, uh, and chat about uh, interior design and how it relates to kitchen design. 
So I'm super pumped about that. So I, I uh, just got a hold of him today. So stay tuned. Uh, you know, I'm going to work out the details with him and we'll do something, uh, you know, something like that. So he's just super willing to, to chat with me. So I thought that was awesome. I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy to be honest with you. Um, and, and I'm not trying to get in front of his audience or anything like that. I, 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 I'm not trying to do that. I just think it'd be genuinely like interesting to, uh, to chat with him because he's super uh, knowledgeable and, and good at what he does. And I think it would be fun for us uh, as a community to be in on that conversation. So um, that would be also really cool um, for all of us. And Nick Lewis is a Canadian as well. So that makes it cool for me because he's a Canadian and I'm a Canadian, right? Did you know that? I am. Helen switched over to Facebook and it works just great. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Helen, for checking that out. I see. I know Barbara's over there and uh, I don't know who else, but I can only look at one screen at a time. Yeah, Nicholas on the on the West Coast. So I think in Vancouver, maybe. Very, very good. Um, <sighs> Jackie, what are you saying? Jackie's the moderator, so we can't kick her out. Love Nick. Felt like he's a genius in interior design. I agree. But he's got a blind spot making him more human in my eyes. Like MTKD is on the OTR. Nick Lewis has a thing against ceiling fans. Jackie. I, you know what, though, Jackie, your ceiling fan is different. If you haven't seen Jackie's ceiling fan, she's got a video about it. And uh, it's different than other ceiling fans. It really is, in my opinion. I think I think uh, it's much better. What's Nick's a pit position on OTRs? Oh, well, I'm going to find out. <laughs> we are going to find out. We'll, we'll, I'm sure it'll come up in our conversation. So super pumped about that. I was super glad to be able to share that news and uh, I'm super pumped. Yeah, he's on the other side of Canada, probably four or five hours in the difference, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make something happen. So that's cool. Let's go back to this. And I have to thank you all because you basically you said, you know, just go for it. What's the difference? Go and ask him. And, uh, you know, so I did. So thank you. East Coast. West Coast, yeah. All right. I've never been to the West Coast. Someday. All right. So let's. So we, I think we understand. We're going to totally gut this kitchen. Totally move this. Now I've seen someone say, uh, and it's gone up in the chats. But see if I find it. Someone about watching TV when they're in the kitchen, and. Um, if you like to watch TV when you're in the kitchen, which is cool. That's, that's, it's all that. And that's why it's good. Here you go. I like, I like the TV opposite the kitchen. So I can watch while cooking. So Raymond. Yeah. I think this is why it's important that you design your kitchen with the needs that you have specifically in mind, which in that case, that's something you'd plan into that kitchen space. And if this kitchen space allowed you to do that, then that would be uh, awesome. But you could also plan it if we did it in a different way, you know, you could put the sink in a big island, you could, you know, position a TV in such a way. But the, these are the, these are the, that's the exact type of question that people overlook because they take whatever the floor plan is and they're putting a kitchen into it. And they're like, Oh, I, I kind of wanted this. And I had this uh, conversation with a client this week where we're, we're trying to fit this kitchen into the space and it's, it's not working and they have to go back to their contractor and make a bunch of changes. And, you know, that it's just it'd be easier if you had said here's the kitchen make this work into the space and um and by knowing your needs and your wants in that space then you can get that from the get-go so okay cool well let's keep going and of course there's many ways to skin a cat for the kitchen maybe not an l but straight with a big island take it with the mechanical room so right so that's what i love about kitchen design and and being able to to do like a 3d rendering is that yeah let's look and see what that looks like let's do one wall kitchen with a monster island 
and maximize that space. So that's one way you could do it. Um, you could do it on the bottom wall and do it there and have the island out the other way. So there's there's many ways to do that. And uh, and that's why it's good. No, just kidding. Yeah, sorry. It's, you know, sorry about that expression. Uh, rabbit, maybe. Many ways to dress a rabbit. Um, this is uh, the the benefit of doing that is by saying, hey, let's look at a bunch of different options and see what works best. So that's what I love about the design uh, process. It, right? Change orders are dollar signs. And that's the problem because um, you have a budget and you only have so much money and changing and changing and changing. It does cost money. So do your homework first and then get the kitchen of your dreams. Okay, let's keep going. Here we go. <clears throat> this kitchen is, this whole thing is giving me um, anxiety. <laughs> just by looking, just by looking at this one. Um, hold on, hold on. What's this? What are you saying, Jackie? Can't wait. Never been to Canada, but curious to see how many of the stereotypes hold true in Toronto. What kind of stereotypes, Jackie? What are you saying? We all wear jean jackets. Canadian tuxedo. All right, let's look at this. So this is giving me the heebie-jeebies, this kitchen right here. Um, you know, ooh, I, I don't know. This, this whole thing is just frightening me. First of all, another closet. Okay, if you are going to design a floor plan, Get rid of these closet things. Look, there's two of them in this kitchen. There's one at this. There's one that doesn't even make sense. It's it's just by that table. Doesn't need to be there. And there's one up by the island. And that doesn't need to be there. I know you like your closets, people, but come on. Like this is this is not going to work. And uh, let's just let's just get rid of this whole thing. So get rid of the closets altogether. Get rid of that wonky shaped island. <laughs> sorry. If this is your exact layout, like, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you what I would do. So get get rid of that that shaped island. That, that doesn't work at all. You've got a lunch. You're trying to have a lunch counter there. It's raised. That doesn't work. Um, so this whole thing is atrocious. So <laughs> we're completely, completely going to redo this. Just go with an L shape with an island. It, it doesn't, like, that. that doesn't that's fine. I know you want something different maybe, but this is not what you want. You don't want this. This is not, that's not functional. That by the way, whoops, by the way, just give me a second. Let me go back. Look at the table. What, what are you, what are you doing there? Why are there all these angles by the way in this, this whole space? That table is like, you can't get around that table. So that's not going to work. Get rid of that table. Get rid of those closets. Put in again, one wall Island or a nice little L-shape with a beautiful island, and you are good to go. This little circle thing looks like a hot water tank. Put it somewhere else. Figure it out. Like, don't put it there. It doesn't need to be there. It can go somewhere else. What's over here? This just looks like, you know, you got room over there. There's ways to do this where you can make this better. So that's all I'm saying is to challenge these designs. When you're building a home or looking at buying a home or even in your own home and you're looking at your layout, challenge what you can do. Challenge challenge the, the the walls challenge the layout you know and if you come up against something that is you can't overcome then then you deal with that but but look at all of the things in that room what walls can we remove can we get rid of this closet can we do things differently to make this a better layout a better space and don't just be don't just be satisfied with saying well this is the way it is and nothing can change it always can change you can always do something to make that kitchen better and if you are stuck with absolutely all the walls you can't make any changes then you can still do things to make the kitchen as functional as possible. And that's what I'm trying to get at overall is just making sure that we get the most functional kitchen uh, for the space that we have. But you have no excuse if you're building a new home and you end up with this kitchen. I would not be happy with you. Okay, let's get rid of that picture. Here we go. No one in the right mind would go for that layout. No. It's not a good layout at all. Uh oh, my layout is similar, but I'm on a slab and cutting into the slab is money. 
Mavis, I'm 0 for 2 with you on this one tonight. Um, my apologies. No, you're right. You can't, if, if, like I said, if you're stuck with what you have, you have to make it work the best you can. And you're right. Cutting into a slab is no fun. How do I find you on Facebook? It's, um, here, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll type it in here. MT Kitchen Design. That's my Facebook. That's the Facebook right there, MT Kitchen Design. I guess that's how you find me. Um, if you if you're gonna go look, cool, cool, cool. Well, it like ruins design class in college. Well, you know what? I mean, you can make any layout work if you really need to, and if that's what you have, that's what you have. But what I'm saying, of course, again, is that at the beginning stages of a design process, do those things first. You know, what kind? Not only with your kitchen, do it with other rooms in your home. What do you want your bedroom to look like? Design that. And uh, and that's the that's the way to go. Phil, <clears throat> I wish I was on MySpace back in the day. Whatever happened to MySpace? I was way back in the day. All right, let's go to the next one. Here we go. Let's check the poll before we get into it. 69% of you are saying you can totally handle designing your own kitchen. Can you now? Can you really? I believe you can. And no, let the pros handle it. So. <clears throat> oh, this. Hey, Trail Walker. So we have someone on Facebook. Oh, cool. This is a comment on Facebook. I love it. Thank you. You found me. Awesome. This is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the Facebook. Oh, my gosh. So it's my first time uh, streaming to Facebook. Normally these are on YouTube only, but cool. Love it. Thanks for joining. All right. Oh, in my opinion, your survey needs a third option. Work with the designer to jointly design your kitchen. Yeah, you're right. That would be probably a good thing to have on there. But I didn't put it in, so I'm sorry. But that would be probably the best thing. Is, you know what? Just work with someone. Here's what I want. Make it work for me. That is the best actual way to do it. So in my opinion. MySpace. Can we find you Alta Vista? Oh, we're going back. We're going back ways. Okay, let's look at this design. Let's look at this layout. Where in the world is the kitchen? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> so this is, a you know, I guess an apartment or I don't know what that is. It's a living, it's a living quarters. All right. That's all we need to know. It's a place where you live. So um, how would we make this kitchen better? Let's have a quick look at it overall. I mean, it's workable. It's workable. In my opinion, there's not much of a need for that return wall at the end of that island where the island comes in close to the, to the rest of the cabinets. Probably don't need to have that there. Um, and I'm just getting nitpicky. Sorry. Um, and then... Again, the closet thing in the water heater, that could just be redesigned to fit better. I know it's I know I'm saying that and it can just sound easy, but you could do that. Let's look at it a little closer. Overall, you know what? The layout works for this space. You got your fridge, you got your range, you got a little bit of counter space on each side of the range. Uh, you got Jackie's OTR, so that's a thumbs up dishwashers on the wrong side of the sink because it's going to interfere with the corner door being able to open against two appliances. That's not going to work. The piano hinge mechanism, that door is going to have an issue. So that's not going to work. You can see the little dishwasher handle there. Um, that should be fixed, but you know, we could fix this whole thing by knocking out that, that peninsula, getting rid of course of that, that closet and all that stuff. And just, just opening that space up a little bit. But if the, if you walk into that, that kitchen works, you know, it is what it is. I've seen worse, you know, um, and I've, I've seen a lot worse, to be honest with you. Um, and, and I'm sure you have too. And maybe you've lived it with worse. So be thankful for what, what, what you have. But if you can upgrade a little bit, I would suggest a few things. And yeah, while this kitchen is super tight, it is. Everything's right there. So, you know, bam, it is what it is. But you could easily 
just knock out that little return wall, extend that kitchen a little bit, uh, maybe put it in as an island, uh, make the access to that kitchen better flow from that table. So you're not walking around that peninsula all the time. And uh, it could be a little bit better. I like to take designs like this and, and just reconfigure them in ways that would make maybe more sense. And that's, that's one of the funnest parts of doing what I do is that I can, you know, take a kitchen design and, and just try different things and, and see what they look like. What's it look like, you know, in 3d so that we can think, you know, we can think through that and, and, and say, no, it doesn't work. That idea didn't work, but at least we know that. And that's really the benefit. And that's what I love doing with, with clients. I'll send them a few different, you know, ideas so that we can, you know, see what is going to work, what's not going to work. And you'd be surprised, and I'm surprised sometimes at the things that don't work and sometimes at the things that do work. So it goes both ways. All right. Mavis, I don't like the laundry room in the back wall. I always hate laundry in the kitchen. Interesting, Mavis, because, um, and I mean, I agree with you as well because I'm a North American. But uh, I know I, I know from talking with other people in the UK and Michael from Kitchen Cider, uh, having a washer and dryer in the kitchen is a very common thing. So not common for me, and but very common for a lot of people. I'm thinking as a parent to go to block kids out of the kitchen. I'm thinking it, the, the more they're blocked, the, the less dishes get done. So I don't know. All right, let's keep on going. Let me have a drink of my LaCroix. Raz Cran. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, here we go. Next one. Where are we at? I don't know how many more of these I have, so we'll go till I finish. All right. Look at this space. Wowzers. Where's the kitchen? Oh, there it is. So this is an interesting... Interesting space. Let's zoom in on that kitchen. I don't know what I don't know what in the world's going on with this place. <laughs> don't know. So, oh, like there's a walk-in pantry. So I'm not, I'm unsure what's happening here, but what here's what I think could happen now and and. I am very pro open concept. All right. Yes, I still like it. Um, I I still like the open concept. I don't I don't want my kitchen enclosed. I you know a lot of people do. Another maid's quarters, Jackie's saying, yeah. So I like to have an open concept. So there's no reason why this space here couldn't be reconfigured so that that whole wall could just be open now if you love to have a closed off kitchen that's perfectly fine that's that's good that you definitely have that but you know you could open that right up and then that just changes everything you know you could really design a kitchen that that works for this space but it looks like there's a fridge kind of oddly placed in a corner and then it looks like a pantry with maybe a stand no there's a, a wall there i don't know what's going on in that pantry that's confusing this whole thing is really a mess in my, my opinion. So, all right. So we have some team closed kitchens. Um, and that's, uh, like I said, people do like that option. I just don't, that's all. This is, you know, we all have what we like and what we don't like. So, um, I just like the open concept still, uh, maybe I'm just old fashioned, you know? Well, actually I think probably closed kitchens would be more old fashioned. I'm new fashion. <laughs> This is a long walk from the kitchen to the dining room. You're right. And then I have that pass through. So, you know, is what it is. Um, again, but the layout of that particular space, if say we're just not changing any of the walls, that that fridge is just oddly positioned uh, into that corner. I don't know what they're thinking there, why they did that. Um, that, that. That definitely needs to be changed. And maybe, you know what, inside that kitchen, take out the wall uh, next to the sink. So to the right of the sink, there's like that countertop and wall, like just extend the kitchen into that room, into that little space. Cause it doesn't seem to be used for anything. So there's ways to do it. So yeah, lots of wasted space in the pantry. 
If you bust down the wall, okay, there, exactly, right? Bust that wall down, extend that kitchen, and you can have something that's a little more functional. And maybe where that dining room is, put an entry into that space there, you know, so you can have access to it from the dining room so you're not, you know, doing a, doing a quarter mile to get your, your toast uh, from the... Uh, from the kitchen. So very good. Helen's bring down those walls. So we have, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that room is. Um, at the very end there, it looks like an, a maybe mechanical room. Maybe there's a toilet in there. Who knows? I don't like having a, a kitchen, like right, you know, doorway from your kitchen, like into your bathroom. If you can kind of help it though, I guess that's sort of what I have in my own place. Anyway, that's just what it is what it is. That must be the dungeon. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, there's the benefit. I'm on Facebook because YouTube froze up completely. Well, there you go. Facebook for the win on that one. I uh, love it. Awesome. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, this, Okay, there's one more. One more to look at, everyone. And then we'll uh, we'll chat a little bit. Almost almost been an hour, so we're, we're doing all right. Okay. Here's a kitchen for you. It's a nice, nice little plan. Nice open space. Look at that walk-in closet. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a big one. Look at it. Massive. I like this. I like this little, I like this little room. Okay, what what do I like about this kitchen? It's got a big island, which I love. Nice L shape. It looks good. Um where it, oh, there's the fridge. Okay, hold on. There's my camera. I'll get it back. No reason to worry. So overall, this layout works. Um, you got a double wall oven or a wall oven uh, section. Your sink and you have your, um, your fridge and a pantry on that separate wall. It, it works and I wish maybe I would just do something a little bit different. And that would be um, I, I would consider putting the sink in the island on this one, moving the, 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 the pantry or in the fridge to that wall, uh, and the wall oven. So having like a nice, having a wall of that, and then maybe having like a real like wow factor for the range itself with a nice a nice range hood or something interesting there, like one of those boxed in style or something new looking. Um, you know, you have to play around with it, but as it stands, this one's not too bad uh, overall, but I would maybe even just put the, the sink in the island. That might be, that might be a workable, a workable thing. What do you think? What would you do differently in this kitchen space? If you had to, uh, had to redesign it. Um, yeah. So Matthew's bringing a good point. It's a bit, uh, a bit far of a walk to the fridge. So the kitchen triangle in this one's like, you know, it's a, a scalene triangle or something like that. There is quite a walk, Matthew, I agree. And that's why I would say like, take that fridge, move it over, sink in the island, nice big, you know, beautiful looking um, range hood type of idea put the wall oven, oven over there and then, and then just have pantries on that wall where the fridge is in this design. That would be something that would work really well in my opinion. Uh, again, these are the things that you do with your designer to, to work through that. And that's the benefit of working with a designer. I know it's not in the poll. I didn't put it in there. I wasn't thinking it was, it was last minute thing. Cause I was, my camera was just ah, decided not to work. So um, that is the best thing is to, to take this design and say, Hey, I kind of like this. Does it work? Does it not work? What, what would I do here? And then, you know, design a bunch of ideas for that. See what works. See what doesn't work. Change things, move, move things around. You'll know when you see it, if you love it. And, uh, and also you'll know, you'll also have a good idea because, you know, you'll be like, well, you know how you work in your kitchen and how that has to flow. And so you can plan that out specifically when you do it this way, instead of trying to, you know, put a, a round peg in a square hole or a square peg in a round hole or whatever. <laughs>
Okay, so that's that. That's that one. Um, I like this design, though, overall. Is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. All right. Get rid of that. Cool. So that 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 was interesting. I, I thought that would be fun to look at some of those layouts. And 3D, I think, is a, is a cool way to do it. And that 3D rendering with, with SketchUp. Because um, you kind of visualize it better. A lot of people have a really difficult time looking at a floor plan and then visualizing what that's going to look like you know, in an actual 3D space. And a lot of people have a hard time looking at their current kitchen and seeing it um, differently because all they have for a reference is the kitchen that they're looking at. And, um, and that's the real benefit of, of putting it in 3D so you can really get an idea of what that looks like. Now I can look at a floor plan and get a pretty good understanding of, of what it's going to be, but that's only because I've done it for so long. And so I've seen someone here uh, say that we should have found me 17 years ago. Um, thanks, Skip. I don't know if, if you would have enjoyed me 17 years ago. Um, I would have been probably not as, uh, as I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made the mistakes that I needed to make in order to learn and become better at, at what I'm doing. Of course, I'm still making mistakes and still learning, but <clears throat> problem with 17 years ago, Mark, is that he probably thought he was better than he actually was. So needed to, needed to mess up a few times. <coughs> it cost my company some money <coughs> before I learned, <coughs> learned those things. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm choking to death. This LaCroix is good. I seen Jackie said she likes bubbly. Helen saying, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Let me mute for a second. I caught. Okay. Sorry about that. How, always good to benefit from kitchen designer maker suggestions as they, uh, the, those professional skills day in and day out. Yeah. That is very true. Very, very true. Is it better than Buble? Uh, I've never had a buble. Well, I, yeah, no, it's, it's similar. It's very similar to buble. Don't, I, I mean, I just like San Pellegrino the best, but that's just the way it is. You're not thinking for thinking fourth dimensionally. <laughs> no, I'm not. However, the new, and that's not new. I shouldn't say it's new, but the, the big, bigger trend now is, is using the VR glasses to put yourself in the kitchen design. So that's that's something that that you can also do, which is uh, kind of interesting. Um, you know, put it on. You can just you can actually move around in that in that space. So that that's that's been around for a while, and I think the future is you know obviously that's kind of probably what it's going to be. So when you go to look at your kitchen, you're not looking at just a three D thing. You're you, you've got the Oculus on or whatever it is you use, or Elon's chip in your brain. And you, you know, flick a switch and you're just in the metaverse with your kitchen, I guess. I guess that's how that's going to work. I don't know. Bluebell 1920 saying, I did design my own kitchen with the help of Ikea kitchen planner tool. And I loved it. Yeah, they just changed their kitchen, their kitchen planner. There's a new tool now, uh, you know, upgraded, updated tool, which is, I uh, haven't had a huge chance to get into it, but uh, it's just a little bit different. Menus are different, but uh, basically essentially the same thing. And yeah, I agree with you. It's a great tool. If you're using Ikea cabinets, you can sort of use it to design any kitchen. Um, and, and, you know, even though they don't have all the same type of cabinets. So yeah, the VR thing, it does sound cool. It is cool. I've, I've used it and, you know, and it's kind of neat. You can just, you're just in the space. So pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> Phil, I love your comments. I just like Aha because it reminds me of the band. Actually, I like Aha maybe better than than LaCroix or Bubbly, to be honest with you. I do like Aha. They got like a blueberry one that's really good. Anyway. Awesome, folks. This is great. I'm so glad that... Oh, hey, no, here we go. I'm over on, I'm over on the Facebook right now. And uh, oh, it's cool. It looks, looks good. Thanks for being on Facebook. Um, I know there's only five of you on the live on Facebook, but that's awesome. Really, really cool. I appreciate you being there. And, 
I love how this uh, shows me all the comments. So, hey, here we go. Leo question. Love it. Hey, Karen. Karen? Karen? Karen. I'm sorry. I mess up names so bad. Leo question. Do the bottom run of cabinets need to line up centered under a window, the end cabinets and upper uppers line up? Let me read it again. Do the bottom run of cabinets need to line up centered under a window? No. No, they don't. Um... And the end cabinets and upper cabinets line up. Wall, like wall cap. Let me. Just, if I'm making uh, sense of this, oh, there's seven of you. Thanks, Raymond. Um, if you are on an end wall, generally they should line up. There's no. There's no hard fast rule. First of all, whatever looks the best to you. So here we go. They should line up if. You know, if, if they're off by three inches, it might look a little bit odd. But if it's intentionally off by a whole bunch, that might be something different. But they should line up, um, generally speaking. And um, I see you, Louisa. Uh, now, a run of cabinets under a window don't need to be centered with a window. Like the, the center of a cabinet doesn't need to be centered with a window, in my opinion. Your eye is drawn to the upper cabinets normally, drawn to the window. And I don't think there'd be a situation where I would look and, and, and be like, well, that's not centered. Like everything can't be centered with everything in a kitchen design. And so the best, my best approach is to, Hey, I go to the, my eye goes to the wall cabinets and I like symmetry. I like things to be, I like things to be centered, honestly. And I like things to be symmetrical and I like all that stuff, but it's very difficult to, to have everything line up. So you have to, you know, in my opinion, walls first, should be the thing that that looks the most symmetrical for me and then and then base cabinets after that whether they do or not is not that important but to answer your question no i don't think they need to to, to line up centered under a window uh, at all to to make sense of course if it's a sink um yes and i mean not like let's say you have a 36 inch drawer bank and you have a 36 inch window well that's going to look nice centered under that window so they don't have to, but if you if you can, like that would look nice because that 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 run would be symmetrical, and then deal with the cabinets on the on the other sides of that. So I don't know. I, I just said two things to answer your question that were opposite. So I, I guess yeah, they don't have to, but it can look nice if you do that. And the end cabinets don't need to line up with the uppers exactly, but they should they should. So I'm zero help on your question, Karen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate the question. Um, yeah, but that, that, that's the thing. You, you should, uh, hey, Louisa, uh, we miss you. Um, thanks for being here. So yeah, you should, you should think about that, plan it through. If it, if it's, if it's close and it, it depends on the cabinet. Okay. <laughs> Let me just go back to your question. Depends on the cabinet. It depends on, on what's there. Like I said, if it's a drawer bank that could look odd if it's not centered, but if you have smaller, narrow cabinet, narrower, narrower, narrower cabinets um, that are lining up, you know, it doesn't necessarily um, mean that it has to be centered with, with a window. So that's what the benefit of Karen. Thanks, Karen. Sorry. Um, Oh, your demo's starting soon. Yeah. Well, this is the this would be the benefit of working with a designer, someone who will just show you those things and show you what exactly that will look like. Because there's no reason why you you wouldn't be able to see that beforehand. So that's um that's a, a good question to bring to your designer or when if you're designing it to to see how that would look if it's not done that way. So in my kitchen designer, so you're focused on achieving the best symmetrical outcomes. Yeah, Helen, I like symmetry too. But like I'm saying, when you when you have an L shape, the it's difficult to have like top and bottom symmetry because you have a, a, a deeper corner on the bottom than you do on the, on the top, and so it just it works out to be a little different. That's why I focus on the top cabinets because that's really what you see the most especially if they look like there's an island in there or something like that. Um, but 
everyone's different. Did you get ice cream from Burger King yet? <laughs> Phil, not not today. <laughs> I ask if you got McDonald's ice cream, but I'm assuming the machine is broken like everywhere else. Yeah. No, I don't I don't do McDonald's ice cream. I haven't gotten Burger King ice cream yet. Which is funny because we get it a lot. A lot. You can't beat a dollar ice cream. Amy and I we Amy and I every Saturday do breakfast at AW. That's our local haunt for breakfast on Saturdays. Um, we go there, they have really good coffee, and you can get bacon and or yeah eggs and whatever hash browns so we do that and we always get our ice cream from burger king there you go karen 100 year old closed off kitchens are challenged yeah and sometimes 100 year old homes are hard to knock walls out of because they're probably not built with trusses um and they, they could have rafters and rafters aren't don't support the same way you need that center uh wall that center beam in place so that can be a challenging uh, situation too you don't have a and w it's so good i can't believe i have something in here and where i live <laughs> which is like population of less than a hundred thousand um and we have an a and w wow i feel important awesome I love the comments, everyone. Thanks for being here. We'll, we'll shut it off in a minute. So it's been over an hour, but I, I do appreciate. So back to what I was saying about the interior design situation. Um, yeah, I like a little bit of yeah, asymmetry. So that's the thing. And that's because you probably have a clue when it comes to interior design. <laughs> no, I don't. So I just make everything symmetrical and uh, I go with it. So back to what I was saying about the interior design situation. Now, my video totally bombed where, where I'm making my gallery wall. Worst performing video I've ever had still. It's just, it's just, it just is what it is. That's the nature of YouTube. I can't help that. And, I, you know, I'm not upset. But I'm a little upset. It didn't do that well. That being said, Nick Lewis has agreed to chat with me, and uh, we're going to have a conversation uh, sometime in the future uh, once we nail out those details. So that'll be a lot of fun, in my opinion. I think it'll be uh, it'll be good. He knows what he's talking about, and seems like just a genuine, genuinely nice person. So it should be fun to uh, to have a good a good chat with him. So looking forward to that. Stay tuned. I'll update us, of course, on the live stream um, when that's going to happen. And because of our time difference, I don't know if having him on the live stream will be possible, but what I'll likely do is air that video during the live stream so that we can kind of watch it together uh, when that happens. So uh, I like that. Yeah, he tells it like it, like it is, and um, which I like. And, you know, I'm trying to learn, but... You know what? Hey, let me show you something. I know you've seen this book before. Oh, let me not knock over my stuff here. My desk is a mess, people. It's unbelievable. Organization is not my strong point. It never will be, and I don't ever want it to be. I've decided I don't need organization. But I do need the interior design handbook. And on Nick's uh, story today, he, uh, he says he has this book. So, and I just, I picked it up because I thought, huh, I need to learn a little more. And I've only read a little bit of it so far. Uh, and I flipped through some of the, some of the, the pages, but you know, I'm learning. But I think talking to somebody who knows something will be even better. And uh, so that'd be awesome. Cool. Hey, you're on Facebook. Amazing. Isn't that cool? I'm in two places at once. Awesome. Population of East Gippsland covers 32,000 kilometers, which is 48,000. Plenty of space. Looks beautiful. Looks like you can ski there as well, which is uh, one of the reasons I'd like to go. I don't know if we'll ever get to Australia. It's so far away from us. That's the only thing. But hey, what's a plane ride? So... We're going it, to, it's a, it's on the bucket list. That's for sure. Thanks. Um, don't be too impressed because <laughs> you know, 
it's 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 difficult. I don't know how far I'll get with this interior design thing. Lots to learn and tends to change constantly. Yeah, and I think if you just get the, if I just get some of the basics down, maybe that'll help me. And it's just fun to talk about some of that stuff. So here we go. What's it saying? You use three color photos with three symmetrical black and white photos. It looks like an art installation, which is the point. Thank you. <laughs> I um I don't know what I was doing. And uh, I think it turned out okay. Hey, Lavier. Uh, th thanks for being here. You're off the air for a bit, but that's okay. Off a line. You're here now. That's cool. Uh, three guests, bedrooms and bathrooms. It wouldn't take a lot of convincing uh, with Amy uh, to, to get us to Australia, I'm honest. Or, in fact, anywhere. <laughs> like... I think we just want to travel somewhere and be cool. Uh, yeah, living in Australia can't be going elsewhere, so I understand not coming here. Um, I just, uh, I would like just to go to a few different places in the world, and um, we'll see what happens. You can always ask Nick to get. You know, here's what we're ha here's what's happening um, in the next video. We'll, we'll we'll shut this down in a minute. But I do appreciate everybody being on. I know we got some people on Facebook and we have some people on the YouTube. And I think Phil is over on MySpace watching this as we stream on MySpace. So um, and and uh, so that's always good. Um, but uh, I love the comments. I get I get like a squirrel with the comments sometimes. So I'm story. The NKBA uh, had, does have some great books. I bought a whole set of them years ago. Um, very very good. They have a lot of courses as well. Yeah, every Canadian wants to go to Australia. Yeah, that's true, eh? We just do for some reason. Maybe because we're part of the Commonwealth together. You know what I'm saying? The good old Commonwealth. I should have Amy on with me sometime. I should. She'd do it. She'd do it no problem. Maybe we will. Maybe we will do that. I'll convince her. I'll promise her a trip somewhere. <laughs> what is it? South Bend, Indiana has the largest living advertisement in the world, if you ever want to see that. Really? Really? We have the biggest fiddle in the world. So that's kind of cool too. Okay. Uh, what am I saying? Next uh, video I'm doing is this breakdown of celebrity kitchens. And um, from Architectural Digest, I took, took one of their videos with celebrity kitchens. And I'm going to kind of react to them, not really, but critique them a little bit. And uh, so that's coming on a Saturday. And then I had a comment today from someone and they put me on to their newest video from Architectural Digest where there's three interior designers and they're designing the same kitchen. And I just had a quick glance at the video and I thought it was uh, something interesting. So I'm going to also, uh, not for this video coming up, but I'm also going to do my own design for that particular kitchen layout. Um, and... Uh, and see how it compares. I looked at the three of their designs. You can go check it out on Architectural Digest. I think it's their one of their newest videos. I wasn't super impressed with the layouts <laughs> that they did, but that's just me, and I am boring. So maybe because I'm not like, you know, a top-notch interior designer. Obviously, I will be soon. Nick Lewis, um, what gets me there? But. Uh, I still, they just, they looked a little bit too much for me. Anyway, give it a thumbs up, the video. That would be awesome. Come to come to North Carolina, help our kitchen model. I would love to travel anywhere, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, I could do that. I would love to do that. I'd love to go to North Carolina. California, the biggest jerk governor in the world. <laughs> I don't keep up a whole lot on American politics, but I do get this sense... Um, that California is like, I don't know, I don't know. 
people move out of there for some reason? What's going on? I don't really know. I don't keep up on it. Um, I don't, I don't watch the news at all, really. I don't know what's going on in the world. Studebaker, they have a bunch of trees that spell it from the air. Wow. That's cool. Oh, it's living because it's trees. <laughs> it's it's trees. Cool. Oh, you've seen that video. I thought the designs were just crazy. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I was like, ah, these designs are like, I don't know how I feel about them. Anyway, I'm going to break those designs down and talk about them from a purely kitchen design functional standpoint. Then I'm going to design my own and compare it. So stay tuned for that. That's going to come up in the future as well. So very, very cool. That's not to say that they're like someone wouldn't like them, but California's over. Oh, you know, we don't talk about Trudeau. No, no. If you know, you know. Uh, oh, cool. I'm glad a lot of you guys watch that. I'm not a fan of any of these three either. Who eats blue, <laughs> blue velvet couch? You don't? What? I do. I like the concept of the video, though. Yeah, I like the concept, too. Um, I like that concept a lot. So thank you, Sarah. Thanks for being here. Uh, so, yeah, that would be um, something, something interesting. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Karaoke with MTKD. Not today. Amy would do that, though, maybe. We'll get her singing. That'd be awesome. Isn't Las Vegas the world's hilarious advertisement? That's true, too. Listen, folks, it's been fun. Um, and I... Did I see something else? Oh. Oh, yeah. Please don't keep up with US politics. I'm like, yeah, so is Canadian politics, I think. All right, so we're going to take off. Thanks for being on... YouTube, thanks for being here on Facebook. Thanks for saying hi. Thanks for uh, just all the love and support on the channel. I do appreciate everyone being on. We'll be here next week again, talking something to do with kitchens. Make sure you check out my last video that I put out on Saturday that completely tanked. Do me a favor. Just go watch it. Add a view to it, please. Um, and uh, I would uh, I would appreciate that. But this coming Saturday, what the, what's in the past in the past? So this coming Saturday... I'm uh, breaking down some celebrity kitchens and talking about what 83% uh, of them all have in common. So that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully you like that. So love it, love it, love it. Uh, Nat, hey, Nat, love your videos. Thank you. I've been trying to figure out how to redo my kitchen, but uh, I hear you. I need help. There are so many pieces. Are you still able to hire for kitchen? Yep, yeah, you can reach out to me if you want to at mark at mtkd.ca. Just uh, send me a quick email and we can chat. And yeah, um, or you can go to my website and see the details on there as well. Um, but yeah, I would love to uh, love to work with you uh, in a kitchen design. That is what I'm here for. And uh, I love doing that. Um, it's really, really good. So uh, definitely uh, do that if you want to touch base we can chat on on email so have a great night everyone thank you so much again i can't say it enough jackie you've been a great moderator i want to say you've been a great moderator so i'll um i'll, I'll keep you on the payroll and uh and we'll, we'll see how it goes um you know you can climb that corporate ladder and mtkd uh design company whatever that is <laughs> Thank you, Phil. You're awesome, everyone. Thank you so much. If you're watching on a screen, wave goodbye because we're going to say goodbye right now. And uh, love you all. God bless. Thanks.